all about. First of all, this is a whole family thing because, you know, that's going to kind of go into that too. I mean, very much. This is living with fibromyalgia is not easy anyway, you know, no. um, to constantly manage that type of pain and stress. And then you have the work side. How did that also affect your personal life? What is that like? Oh, my hey! God. <laughs> <laughs> I had no personal life. Um, I didn't want to do, excuse me, thank you. I didn't want to do anything because I felt like like a party pooper, right? Like you don't want to go somewhere and then have a flare and now you have to go home and you don't want to be the center of attention because you can't control what's happening to your body. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't do much anything for like my first year and a half in Hawaii. Like, mm. and it, it sucked, like, because you want to go hike and you want to yeah. go to the beach. And yeah. It's water all around. And yeah. And lush green life. And I lived downtown. It was amazing where I lived, but I was just like, I don't want to do anything until I can figure out what this is and how to better management, manage it. Yeah. Um, so I didn't. I didn't really date. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I went to work and I came home um, on the days that I could go to work. Um, I had really good, <clears throat> excuse me, friends um, that that understood. So a lot of times, like we'd do like more hangouts at the house. Um, that way, I didn't have to worry about driving or or anything like that. And um, it was just very very chill time. Um, I, I think I dated twice, <laughs> um, but it was, it was very just, it, at that point, like, I was really happy that I was a single person and I yeah. could just go in my home and go to sleep and not have any cares or worries and not have people depending on me, uh, in that way. So, 